Okay, so setting up domains in Go High Levels. Now, obviously, if you want to run any funnels or if you want to run a website, you're going to need to set up a domain. And how we do that is we'll go into the sub account. Um, this is done on the sub account level. So we'll select the sub account we want to add the domain into. We will select settings in the bottom left. And then we're going to select domains over on the left. Okay, now I've added two domains here, but um, I'll walk you guys through the process, of course. So if you don't have any domains, we're just going to hit add in the top right, add domain, and we will see a page that looks. Um, I guess not. I just start from scratch. We'll see a page that looks like this, right? And we're just going to type in our domain name. So for this example, we're using referralty.com. And then we'll need to make a DNS record. So we can either use a C name pointing to uh, this address, or we can use an A record pointing to this IP. I've always used the A record. Um, I don't think it makes a difference, honestly. <laughs> but I've always used the A record, so that's what we'll use for this example. So to add this DNS record, um, we'll need to go into our domain settings, our, our host provider. In this example, I'm using GoDaddy, and we're going to hit add new record. Okay, now under type, we're going to hit A. Under name, so if you guys want to just use the root domain, so like if you guys want to send your traffic, uh, like referralty.com, you can use that. Or if you wanted to use a subdomain, you could enter that here. So if you want to use the root, just hit the at. Or if you wanted to use a subdomain like, um, I don't know, funnels.referralty.com, we would type in the subdomain for the name. And then under the value, we would put that IP address. Okay, um, I have it right here. We put the IP address in there. Got that. And then the TTL, we could leave it default. We could select it one hour, it doesn't matter. Um, and then we're just gonna hit save. Now I already have this added. Um, I have both a subdomain, so funnel.referralty.com, and I have the root, referralty.com, both already added um, and done. The reason why I pre-added them, and this is a, uh, an important note to make for you guys, um, is because they can take up to 24 hours to update. So I've added them so we don't have to wait, and I can just go ahead and make this video for you guys right away. But if you get these added in, um, and it does say that, Go high level can't find the DNS record that you created and you've double checked it and everything looks right. Just give it some time. It can take, again, up to about 24 hours to update sometimes. Okay, now, once you guys have the domains added, you'll see a page that looks like this and it is going to want to link you, uh, link it to a funnel. So what you'll do is just select the funnel and then you'll select the funnel step and you can add a, a custom 404 page if you want. Honestly, in my opinion, waste of time, don't do it. Once you have the funnel and the funnel step that that page will be uh, directed to, we'll hit save. And then if you want to test it out, we can just type in um, the domain. And there you go, now it gets pulled up. So this is just a, uh, an example funnel that I made. Um, but we can see that the domain is linked up properly. It's redirecting to the funnel. This is actually a subdomain, um, but everything looks good, and that is how you connect your domains to your funnels. Now, if, if you're having um, an issue with this, something that you might want to check is going into uh, Sites, and then under Funnels, let me back up here. Under Funnels, if you're trying to direct the website traffic to a specific funnel, click that funnel and then hit settings at the top. And on the right hand side under domain, make sure it is linked to the proper domain, right? And then you'll just wanna hit save. And you should be good to go.